In this video, I'm going to show you how to write a formula to quickly and easily translate inches values into feet and inches. So for example, if I was to enter in an athlete and then put in the vertex score for their jump, let's say 125 inches, I will automatically have the feet and inches calculated. This is going to be really useful for anyone who works in inches and uses a vertex for their volleyball or basketball squads or really any team that might test their approach jump. So let's get after it. Okay, so we're back. And the first thing that I want to remind you of is that if you are finding any value in any of the Strength Coach Tutorials video, if you could please like and subscribe to the channel as well as share this video with someone who you think might find it useful, that really helps the channel grow and helps me continue to make these videos. Now on with today's project, what we want to do is take these athletes and their approach jump heights, which are often measured in inches because of the way that the Vertec device is set up. So if, if you're not familiar with a Vertec device, what it is is basically a vertical jump tester where each vein that the athlete hits can give you um, a value in inches. And then that is often converted into feet and inches for volleyball athletes who like to work in that metric. So the first thing that we wanna do is we're going to put together a little formula. So if we're, if we're using inches, what we need to first do is divide this number by 12 to convert it to feet, and then we'll need to add the remainder as um, leftover inches. So we're gonna put together a little formula. So the first thing we wanna do is create an integer value of this um, value. So we're gonna type equals int, and if you look, the integer rounds a number down to the nearest integer. So we're going to use this to take this first value and divide by 12 and then hit enter. So that would be how many feet 165 inches is. But if we were to take um, 13 and multiply it by 12, we're going to be left with 156. 156 minus 165. So if we were going to put this formula together, what we would want to see is 13 feet, nine inches. So the second part of this formula, what we're going to use is a formula called mod, which will return the actual um, remainder when a division is made. So what we can do here is to go equals mod, open this up, and we're going to use this number, and then the divisor will be 12. When I close this off, you can see that now it gives me my nine. So we're going to stick these two formulas together and I'm going to put it into another part on this table. And what I'm gonna call this is feet, inches, hit enter, and then we will format this as a table. So I'll hit format, format as table. My table has headers. We'll make this a little bit bigger. So let's build this formula out. So I'm gonna type equals int, open this up, we want this first cell here, but we're going to use the exact reference, which is B2 divided by 12. Close that off. And we want mod B2 divided by 12, or sorry, comma 12. When I close that off, you can see it's giving me 139. What I want to do is have it so that the 13 has um, a single quotation and then the nine has a double quotation so as to represent feet and inches. So in front of this int B12 or B2 divided by 12, what we can type here is quotation. Now anything we put in quotations is going to be represented by text. So I'm gonna go quotation, single quotation, space, quotation, and then another N. When I hit enter, now you can see we have 13 single quotation nine. And we're going to add something at the end of our mod to finish off this equation. We'll go and quotation, double quotation, and then one last one and hit enter. And you can see now that gives us our 13, nine. Now the last piece of this puzzle, if I was to enter in another athlete, athlete six, you can see that this is giving me an ugly value of zero, zero. So what I would like this to do is show me nothing when there is um, nothing in the approach jump cell. So we'll do a check for that at the beginning of this formula. We'll type if, open that up. Actually, we'll do it right in the top cell here. We'll go if 
open that up. B2 does not equal blank. So what we're checking to is, sorry, B2 does not equal blank. And reminder, does not equal is two um, arrows opening up towards each other. Blank is represented by two quotations with nothing in the middle. If B2 does not equal blank, then what we want to do is perform this calculation because that means that there will be inches in that box. And if it does, then comma, we want to return a value of blank, close that whole thing off and hit enter. And you can see that cleans up our formula quite nicely. Now, the reason that this formula is filling all the way down is because I've entered it into a table. But if you didn't enter it into a table, what we could do is I could copy this formula and I'll just paste it over here to see how that would work. Hit paste and it's still going to work. And all I would have to do is just drag that formula down. And then anytime I put in values over here, it would still work. Okay, so one last time you have if B2 does not equal blank, then int B2 divided by 12 and single quotation and mod, which gives us our remainder B2 um, divided by 12 and double quotation and then if it does equal blank. Okay, so that is a quick formula to help you out convert your vertex scores or any scores measured in inches into feet and inches. So I hope this video helps you out. And if it does, please like and subscribe to the channel and I will see you in the next video.